to change out your brake pads, you're going to need to safely raise and support the vehicle as well as remove the wheels. For additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Let's start with the front. You can turn the steering wheel to rotate the caliper so it's easier to work on. As always, when working on your vehicle, you should be wearing eye protection safety glasses. If you're not, please stop and put some on before you do this. With a flathead screwdriver, lever off the anti-rattle spring, green arrow. The spring is under some tension, so make sure it does not go flying as you lever it off. At the access hole of the caliper, insert a flathead screwdriver in the outside of the hole and lever the caliper towards the direction of the blue arrow. This pushes the caliper piston back in and will make the caliper easy to remove in later steps. You need to check your brake fluid reservoir as you'll be pushing fluid back up into the system and remove some if necessary. Remove the two plastic caps, green arrows, that cover the caliper mounting pins. Upper cap is already removed. Using a 7mm Allen key bit, remove the two caliper mounting pins, green arrows. If the wheel you are working on has a brake pad wear sensor, unclip the two locking tabs, green arrows, on the electrical connector housing. It's mounted behind the strut on the body of the car. Pull out the black electrical connector for the brake pad wear sensor connector, green arrow. Squeeze the locking tab at the bottom of the electrical connector to unlock it and separate the connector. Unclip the sensor from the bracket on the strut. It's a tight fit and you will have to use some force to get it off. Remove the caliper bleed cap screw and then remove the brake pad sensor stay on the bleeder screw. Remove the caliper from the mounting bracket. You can rest the caliper on the suspension piece or the rotor, but never let the caliper hang by the brake hose. It can damage it. I like to hang the caliper up out of the way with a bungee cord. The inner brake pad, green arrow, is held into the caliper by a spring. The outer pad, yellow arrow, may stay attached to the caliper or stay in the caliper bracket. In this case, the outer brake pad stayed with the caliper bracket. Remove the outer pad. If you did not push the piston all the way in by levering earlier, you can use other tools to push the piston back in. Here we are using a C-clamp to push the piston back into the caliper. What is important is that you use a tool that will push the piston evenly. If the piston gets cocked sideways, it will jam and you will have to replace the caliper. Don't forget at this point, you're still forcing brake fluid back up into the reservoir so check and remove as needed. Remove the inner brake pad by pulling it away from the caliper in the direction of the blue arrow until the spring releases. Push the caliper mounting pins all the way in, green arrows. This makes the caliper easier to install. Make sure the pins slide easily in the caliper. If they are too difficult to move, pull them all the way out and clean them. Apply some caliper grease, high temperature synthetic works best, and reinstall the pins. With a wire brush, clean the grooves, green arrows, that the brake pad rides in to remove all the old brake dust. If you want, you can apply a small amount of copper paste or anti-seize in these grooves. Just make sure they don't get on the pads. Installation is the reverse of removal. If your pads do not come with anti-squeal pads on the back of them, apply a little brake anti-squeal to the back of the pad before installing. Once the calipers and new pads are back onto the rotor, make sure to pump the brakes a few times to move the pads into position. Let's move on to the rear. Now let's move to the rear calipers. Again, make sure you have your safety glasses on and with a flathead screwdriver, lever off the anti-rattle spring. Working at the inside of the caliper, remove the two plastic covers, green arrows, for the caliper mounting pins. With a 7mm Allen head bit, remove the two caliper mounting pins, green arrows, from the caliper. Same as the front caliper, use a flathead screwdriver in the access hole of the caliper to lever in the direction of the blue arrow, pushing the piston in. And don't forget to check the reservoir. The rear brake caliper has floating pins as well. Do the same procedure that you did on the front and make sure they slide freely. 
Again, you can remove them, clean them, and then put a little high temperature synthetic grease on them to help them slide. Remove the caliper by pulling it off of the caliper bracket. Sometimes the outer pad will stay attached to the caliper mounting bracket. In this case, both pads, green arrows, stayed attached to the caliper. Remove the outer brake pad from the caliper. Again, push the piston back into the caliper, making sure it goes in straight and doesn't cock the caliper sideways. Also, remember you're pushing fluid back into the reservoir, so check and remove as needed. Remove the inner brake pad by pulling it away from the caliper piston until the inner spring releases. Push the caliper mounting pins back to the end. This will make installing the calipers easier. Clean and lube the bracket the same as you did on the front caliper. Installation is the reverse of removal and don't forget to pump up the brakes a few times to move the pads into contact with the rotor. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.